All right, what's up guys, this is Jake. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and set up a photo gallery inside of your Wix website. So first thing you wanna do is just make sure you're already in the Wix editor for your site. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just create a blank page for this particular gallery. So I'm gonna come over here to menus and pages and add a page really quick. And I'm just gonna add a blank one right here. And I'll just name it gallery and then click done and what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and add a photo gallery in here by going to add apps and I'm going to search for Wix Pro gallery and we can see that it shows up right here so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm going to go ahead and click on add to site and this is going to go ahead and load into the site right here and we can see here that if we go ahead and right click on it and just click on manage media we can actually start to edit the actual gallery so the first thing we want to go ahead and do before we actually manage the media is we can go ahead and click on settings and we can go ahead and adjust how this will actually look so the first thing we can do here is come down here to layout and we can see that we can choose from a bunch of different layouts depending on how many photos we have and what look we want to go for and we can see we can it's by default set as collage but we could switch it to this right here we could switch it to a grid we could switch it to thumbnails right here we could switch it to a slider we could make it a slideshow we could make it blocks columns pretty much any type of layout that you want. And we can further customize the layout here by coming in here and like adjusting the spacing in here. So if I make the spacing bigger, we can see that that adds more padding in between each one of these particular photos. So once we've went ahead and decided on a layout, I'm gonna just stick with the grid. We can come in here to settings. We can change a couple of other things. So right here, we can go ahead and choose whether or not we want people to be able to download these photos. So if these are free photos that you know anyone can have access to, you can go ahead and choose to allow them to be downloaded. However, if you're like trying to sell these logos as part of a paid portfolio, then obviously you want to make sure that it's not um, went ahead and downloadable. We can choose to add social sharing buttons right here, as well as a heart icon, which is essentially just like likes on Instagram we can go ahead and keep that right there and we can also switch down here to design here and we can go ahead and add an overlay if we want so we can see if we have a color overlay right here it goes ahead and adds this black overlay on everything right here and we can change the opacity to make it darker or lighter and what this allows us to do here this overlay allows us to go ahead and add text or icons to each one of these different photos right here because if we didn't have an overlay we can see it would be a lot harder to actually read text on these photos and we can click on icon colors right here which are the like button and the share button and we could change them to pretty much any color we want so you could uh, select this and change this to go ahead and suit your specific branding we can also add a hover mode effect right here so we can see that this overlay effect right now by default is on every single one of these images but we can come down here and click fade in for example and we're not going to be able to see this on the editor screen but if we click on preview real quick we can see that now while it's in hover mode every time we hover over a specific image now it's going to have the specific overlay effect only when we're hovering over the image so if you want to do something like only having the image title show up when you hover over the image this is something you can do right here so now i'm going to go ahead and go back to the editor and get into some more settings so now if we came down here to text here we can see that we can show a title and a description if we want to for each image and we can go ahead and choose whether we want the info to be on the image or above the image or underneath the image and we can also choose what happens to the info on hover so right now on hover the information appears but we could make it disappear or have no change if we wanted to do that as well we can come down here and change our text style so we can go ahead and choose our heading we can make the font size bigger if we want 
or we can go ahead and shrink it right back down and then we can change our actual font title by going in here and picking one and we can change our color of the text as well so just like with these buttons you can change that to fit your branding we can change the alignment to make it left aligned right aligned or center same with top bottom or center right here and now we can go ahead and go back and we can also add a button if we want to so we can go ahead and click on custom button and then we can see right here we could change the button text to anything we want and we could align this button in the same way we can as the text and we can go ahead and customize the button here by making the button color stand out or making it go away so this is one thing that we could go ahead and add it as well in this case i'm going to get rid of it another thing we can do is edit the item style a little bit which means we can go ahead and change the border width so we can give each one of these images a border by dragging this bar this way and we could go ahead and change the color of that border and then we can change the quarter radius which essentially what that does is just rounds the edges off right here by dragging this bar and we can go ahead and add shadow if we wanted to and we can also choose an effect when hovering over the images as well just like we already had before we can choose to make the image zoom when we hover over it and I'll go ahead and click preview right here to show you what that looks like so now you can see we're hover over the image the image itself zooms in the title shows up and the share buttons come up so that's another way that you can go ahead and add some more functionality and reactivity to your particular portfolio so now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the editor once again and we're going to open up settings again come back to design and now we can see we can add some scroll animations if we want so we can choose how images appear when scrolling down the page so let's say we were to go ahead and put just slide up for example and we go ahead and preview this we can see right here that as we scroll these images here are sliding up a little bit so you could go ahead and go through here and test out the different scroll animations to see if you like specific ones or if you just wanted to have none and then lastly here we have expand mode here where you can customize how your expand mode will look so you can go ahead and do that just by clicking customize and then at this point we also have some advanced settings in here where you can change the image quality the image sharpening you can choose to play videos uh, with or without sound customize the playback speed of videos within here and choose whether you want to loop it and you can change the gallery direction from left to right or right to left so at this point that's how you can pretty much customize your entire gallery and then as far as changing the actual photos you can just come in here to manage media and then you can see by default all of these default photos are selected right here so if you want to, get, to go ahead and get rid of all these go ahead and just select all and then you could just click delete and then you could go ahead and add in your own portfolio images just like you would upload any other photo to your Wix website. So with that said, that's how you can go ahead and set up a Wix gallery in your Wix website. So with that said, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more tutorials, and I'll see you guys in another one.